everybody, Mike McCree with TrueX Outdoors. We got a special guest that's going to be on this episode, Jake Hoot. He is uh, the winner from season 17 on The Voice. Uh, he's going to be here with us here in just a little bit. We can go pick him up here at the hotel, and then we're going to go get some camouflage and hunt license and all that sort of stuff, and then get out in the woods. Hopefully, we can get us a turkey. He's got long arms, so trying to find something that fits his long arms. <laughs> What if I had like T-Rex arms? Short sleeves would work. Yeah. <laughs> now, is this, is that not a good pattern? It is. Is it? Yeah, it looks like some long arms. I was about to say. <laughs> I think we got the camouflage. You think this goes with the camouflage? Mm. Turkeys won't see that. Get an Alabama hat. They don't have them in here. Oh, this is the clearance rack. Does that go with? That looks good. It's, Does it? It's like it was meant for it. Turkeys are going to come calling to us. Yep. Come on, come on. Roll time. Yeah. yeah. You is gonna say? A, it? Is there a call back to that? Or yeah, he's supposed to say roll time. Oh, roll time. There you go. Walmart the parking lot. Jake Hoot. Rude. This guy we met inside, he's from ah, Bob. New York, right? Right. He's coming to hunt Alabama, some turkey. New York Bob. Yep. New York Bob, yeah. <laughs> yep. But we're getting ready to hunt. He just got his hunt license, and now it's time they to They said head. I weighed 150 pounds. He's every bit 150 pounds, so he's, Soaking he's doing good. All right, we are at Casey's Barbecue here in Scottsboro, Alabama. Jake Hoot loves some barbecue, right? <laughs> hey, there's Josh. Josh Drawball. What's up, Josh? Coming That's Jake Hoot. Nice to meet you. Oh, thanks, dude. Thank you. I'm a big fan of you from the little bit I've heard from you. <laughs> Killed my biggest deer. Yeah. <laughs> Probably nothing good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, you look so small <laughs> compared to Jake, mind you. Bro, Jake, he makes me look so small. You're like, what, 6'6? Six, 6'6, six? Six, six, 150 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to do some target shooting. Heck yeah. Teach you how to shoot this thing. You know, you probably already know how to shoot it better than me. We're about 25 yards. Okay. You think you can hit that bullseye? Uh, yeah. What do I get if I hit it? Uh, you get a better chance. Butter cake? Yeah. Oh you get a better chance of killing a turkey tomorrow. Uh, hey, hit it. that's something. All right. I'll take it. Go ahead and lock one in there. Okay. Oh. We good? I think so. So you're all safe when you're ready to shoot. Check your thumb. Okay. Sure. okay. You said hold your breath, huh? right? see what he did. I missed it. I missed it. I think I need to pull it a little bit more up on my shoulder. Hey! Yes, sir! Not quite the bullseye, right? There's some in the bullseye. Yeah. About 20 in there. But bird. I only need one for that turkey tomorrow. That's a dead bird. That is a dead bird. Yes. Would you have like blown a hole in the I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He's big timing. He's big timing. Who's a better shot? Jake Hoot or me? When 
you're walking out to put up a target, do you ever feel like you're in a wild western movie and you're like ready to duel? Yeah. You know how they used to do, you know, you have, walk, what is it, 16 paces or something? No. No? Uh, where are you going? That's pretty quick. Quick and slick. <laughs> You put it on safety. I did. That's how it's done. He was two steps closer. <laughs> it's gonna add an extra DB. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go compare. If I have to go poke holes in my bulls, I'm gonna do it to win this one. What? What? So if we can somehow combine both of our skill, then we have a good chance of not only killing one, but doubling up. You know that's right. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good how, to see you. How's your mom and them? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, let's go kill a bird. I'm down. Let's do it. Do I get a pocket knife or something? Hoot has his camouflage on, and he is looking good. Josh, what are we gonna do when we get to that tree? I need you to take off your hat. Hold on a second. Ready? Oh, that's good. Is that what you do? Just to fly down and, and then the throw down. And the throw down after the fly. <laughs> Technically, there's a little more to it. Yeah. But... Are you supposed to make that sound or is that one? That's, that's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much what I do with my hat is I'm... Makes it sound like a... Wings. I'm mimicking the wings. So you're like supposed to make that sound? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. We'll take our hat. Oh, the, yeah. the first bird I ever killed, that's how I killed it. Really? Because I was sitting up against a tree and I did a fly down cackle just like that. Just like that. And within about five minutes, he flew down, walked up on the road, and come right to me. So he's a pro. Pro. Told you. Right? It, well, the, as much as I've learned from then to now, it's totally different. All right, we just got to the land. We try to sneak across this field, see if we got some bird. We got some birds on the opposite side of the property, somebody else's property. But I think it's a different set of birds. So I think. All of our birds are probably gonna be in this left side corner of our property. Jake's got his gun, he's ready. I'm gonna try to sneak, scout around a little bit. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? Look at that cedar tree. Come here. All right, we got two toms. We got another one coming across the field, so we got a three out there. Oh, I see one. I see him. Yes, I see him. And he's over here. He's strutting out. That's a hen over here walking. So we have some turkey in front of us. Now we got to ambush him. This is where it's going to get hard. You ready for it? Always. I see you. It looks like Conor McGregor out there. train coming through here so now it's our time to get close while oh, that train's distracting train's working with us
so we're gonna pull out we know where to be in the morning uh, about another hundred yards in the woods he's got four or five hens with him so it's hard to call him off of a hen he's quite the ladies man yeah so we need to be where he's roosted so when he flies down we'll pop him before he gets to his women yep so what's his name I like to call him Thomas. Thomas? Yeah. Big bearded Thomas. He's a strutting machine, ain't he? Conor McGregor. Highfalutin. High stepping. Little punk. He's a punk. All fat and cocky out there. <clears throat> well, can I at least get a. It's the new turkey call. Brings me <laughs> <so crazy. laughs>